So in this video, we're going to take a bit of time to show you why exponentiating the coefficient gives us an odds ratio. What I'm going to do is first work through the example that we have with our data, looking at the log odds of coronary heart disease and numeric values for the coefficients. And then I'm going to go through and do the exact same um, explanation, but generically, just where we have B0 and B1. So first I want to <clears throat> use numbers and apply it to the data we've been working with, and then I want to generalize it to any logistic model. So what I want to do, and I'm going to first start with, uh, so remember here, age is numeric. So I'm going to get the odds ratio of age 30 versus 29. So what I want to do is first just show you looking at a one year increase in age. Right? Remember we said if we exponentiate this point 111, it gives us the odds ratio associated with a one unit increase in age. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to do it here for a specific one year increase going from 29 to 30. And then here when I make it generic, okay, to show you the same, I'm going to go from age A to age A plus one. Okay, so increasing age by one. So like I said, I think at first, sometimes it's helpful, especially if you um, don't have a rigorous mathematical background, to use numeric values in an example before going to A's and B's and X's and Y's and so on. So what we want to do is calculate the odds ratio associated with age, right? What's the odds ratio for age? And if you call the odds ratio is the odds of the disease given, let's say, age is 30 over the odds of disease given that the age is 29. Right, again, it's actually just for a one year increase. Right now, I'm going to use specific numeric ages and then we'll generalize it to age A and A plus one. Okay. So, can I just write out the definition of odds ratio, right? The odds ratio of age is this, the odds of disease for a one unit increase in age. Okay. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work on the scale of the log odds ratio. Okay. So, here I'm just taking the log of both sides. We're gonna work on the scale of the log odds ratio. <coughs> and the reason I'm doing that so remember, logistic regression models the log of the odds. Okay. Now there's one property we need to make use of, property of um, logs. Remember the log, so you have x over y, can be written as the log of x minus the log of y. Okay. So that's just a property of logs. Um, hopefully you remember that. We did recap some of the properties earlier in the course. If you don't remember it, you might have to reach back to um, undergraduate or maybe even high school math to get back there. But the log of x over y can be written as the log of x minus the log of y. Okay, so we can make use of that here. The log of the odds of disease given age is 30 over the odds of disease given age is 29. This can be written as the log odds of disease given the age is 30 minus the log of the odds of the disease given that age is 29. All right, so I've just made use of that property. And now remember, our model is giving us the log odds of the disease right, given the ages. So. This here, the log odds of coronary heart disease given age is 30, that's negative 5.31 plus 0.111 times 30. And the log odds of the disease, the log odds of coronary heart disease given age is 30. It's negative 5.31 plus 0.111 times 30. All of that minus this here, the log odds of coronary heart disease given age is 29. The log odds of coronary heart disease given age is 29 is negative 5.31 plus 0.111 
times 29. Yeah. Now what you're going to see here, negative 5.31 minus negative 5.31, those are going to cancel out. Let me, I guess, write the extra unnecessary problem for most people. But we're left with 0.111 times 30 minus 0.111 times 29, which equals 0.111. And so the log odds ratio is 0.111. So I'm just going to rewrite that here. The log odds ratio is 0.111. And another property of logs and exponents, we uh, talked about this one previously, the log of e to the x is x. Right? The log is the anti-exponent, or exponent is the anti-log. So if we take e to the log odds ratio, maybe I should write the property the other way. It also goes e to the log of x is x. That's the property we're making this of. So e to the log odds ratio is e to the point 0.111, or the odds ratio is 0.111. Okay. So the log odds ratio, so missed something there. It's e to the point 0.111. Okay. The log odds ratio is 0.111. The exponent of the log odds ratio is the exponent of 0.111. Or the odds ratio is e to the 0.111. Which we saw previously came out to be 1.12. Yep. So um, hopefully this convinced you that exponentiating that coefficient gives us the odds ratio. What I'm going to do is go through and do the same explanation. I'm going to go a bit more quickly. So if you got things and you're okay, you can stop here. You don't need to watch the generic um, the generic explanation unless you want to, to see the generalizing of it. I'm going to go a bit more quickly and do the exact same thing, but looking at the odds ratio associated with age, where we're looking at age A plus 1 versus age A. Right, so looking at a one unit increase in age, not necessarily specifying the exact ages, any one unit increase, and using B0 and B1. So the log odds ratio. Well, maybe let me cut a few corners and move a bit more quickly. So I'm going to jump down to this step here. We can express the log odds ratio as the log odds of the log, I'll write it this way so it matches what's there. The log odds, right, of P or one, the log odds given that the age is A plus one minus the log odds given that the age is A. Okay. So the one unit increase in age. We saw the log odds for age A plus 1 is B0 plus B1 times the age A plus 1. And the log odds for age A is B0 plus B1 times A. Okay. What do we see here? Same thing, B0 minus B0, those are going to cancel out. We're going to be left with B1 times A plus 1 minus B1 times A. This is B1 times A plus B1 minus B1 times A, these are going to cancel out in B1. Okay, so again, the log odds ratio is B1. So the odds ratio, if we exponentiate each side, the odds ratio is e to the B1. Now I know I went a bit more quickly through that. 
But uh, the reason I went more quickly was completely parallel what we did here, just with generalizing and rather using the numeric values using B0 and B1 and using ages of A and A plus 1. So um, this can give us the understanding of why exponentiating the coefficient from a regression model is going to give us the odds ratio. Right? So exponentiating B1, B2, B3, and so on gives us odds ratios. What we're going to start to do with this is, like we did with linear regression, look at how we can estimate odds ratios, but adjusted for other variables. So as we start to have um, include multiple variables and look at multiple logistic regression, we can now estimate odds ratios adjusted for other variables. Stick around, guys. There's more to see, and please stay safe.